Well guys, as you know, it is Black History Month, and some people are using this month as an excuse to be the worst people ever. And today, I have two viral examples of exactly that, and I gotta be honest, they made my blood boil a little bit. But let's talk about it. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better. Guys, before we get into this video, please like and subscribe because today we're gonna set the record straight on something that I'm now going to be calling weaponized blackness. And as I said at the top of this video, we have two examples of exactly that. The first one revolves around a black woman who is apparently sitting at a bar in a restaurant and is accused of being too loud. Now, instead of looking internally and thinking, maybe I should lower my volume, she decides to film an altercation between her and two other white women sitting next to her. Let's watch. Am I, am I Am I quiet enough for you? Am I quiet enough for you? The lady that told me to shut up. Man, do you know the no, I don't think she does know who you are. And after this altercation, I don't think she will want to know who you are. Why am I down on my phone? Is up quiet enough? You got hair like them LA, them in LA, them, them um, old white ladies at the casino, they wear their hair like yours. They wear their hair like yours with the feathers. That's why I got so many f checks. Bitch, don't you ever talk to me, ho. F wrong with y'all. Get out my mother conversation one time. Hello. So, f I'm a talk, I'm a talk, I'm a be who I'm a be. Black is me in this restaurant. What's up? What's up? I'm still loud. I scream right there. Ah! Check, please. Why do you got bills, 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 but they ain't Beyonce. Ain't paid man up. They trying to split a check. Yeah. Yeah, I see you. You one of them trying to split a check. Cash me out. Y'all know who I am. Stop playing with a real Cause I'm black. And all black. This shit ain't black enough. Black History Month. Show some respect, ho. It's Black History Month. Show some respect. When she showed the furthest thing from respect, this entire video and this entire altercation, and for her to have the nerve to tell these two women to stay out of her conversation, when the very basis for their complaint was that she was so loud that it was impossible to stay out of her conversation. It is truly astounding. And this, my friends, is what we call weaponized blackness. Two people have come to you on a person-to-person -person basis and let a complaint towards you that you are being too loud and instead of taking in that complaint adjusting your volume you say that this is an attack on you simply because you are black you are the blackest person in this restaurant it's black history month you deserve respect now what many black people are deciding to do and not all of them I want to make that very clear is using any moment in their life where they could take accountability and responsibility for their own actions to cry racism and to point out that whatever's happening in the present moment is happening because they're black. And beyond that, they feel a sense of entitlement to be disrespectful, to be loud, to take up more space than they should be taking up because they are black. They've been sold this idea that due to their skin color, they are somehow perpetual victims. And because of that victimhood status, they deserve more than other people. And not only do they deserve more, but they are above any form of criticism or correction on their behavior. They are told that any form of criticism or complaint is actually racism, that it has been directed towards towards them because they are black. And the dynamics of this video, of course, point out exactly that. If a white person comes to you with a complaint as a black person, you are meant to know that they are an oppressor and you are the oppressed. Therefore, the complaint could never be valid. I am a victim of a hate crime. Stanley knows what I'm talking about. That's not what a hate crime is. Well, I hated it. And notice how when the video starts, you don't hear anything from the two white women sitting at the bar. And there's probably a multitude of reasons. One, they're probably scared of a woman who is now filming and screaming at them inside a restaurant. Two, they're probably nervous that their faces are going to be plastered all over the internet and they're going to forever be labeled as racist for what they said to this woman in this restaurant. We live in an era where the black card is more powerful than it ever was before. And when you pull it, it leaves people with actual valid complaints silent. And the fear 
of being posted on the internet in a situation like this and being labeled as a racist for the rest of your life is actually a valid one, which leads us to our next viral moment. Now I'm gonna show you yet another video of a conflict between a white person and a black person, and this one takes a violent turn. Now there are two different edits of this video. I'm gonna show you the first video that was posted on the internet, which happens to only be 10 seconds. And I want you to ask yourself, why is this video edited down to 10 seconds? Let's watch. Get the out of my man face! Is, is, this man is assaulting her. wrong with you, my so if you're meant to judge based on the 10 seconds you just saw, you see an elderly white man slap a black woman in the face. She goes on to punch him back. He falls to the ground and that is where the video ends. You'll also hear another black woman in the background who's filming this conflict saying he assaulted her. Now that 10 second video started circulating on a ton of platforms getting a lot of backlash. And the backlash was how dare this racist elderly man put his hands on a black woman. And I'm so glad that she handled that, that she took him to the ground. There were people saying that this racist boomer generation needs to be put in their place, that he should have known better as a white man to step to a black woman like that. But now we have a longer video of this encounter and it tells a very different story. Get out of my way, cause I'm about to put my hands on your old ass. Get the f out of my way. Can you go get some help? I don't give a f Get no, the f out of my way. Sit down. It's old like you, and then y'all wonder why black people act the f up because you white f think y'all got it all, but you got the right you want f like me. Yeah, smile on the f while I spit in your face. You better back the f and what? I and I, that's a threat. Is that a threat? What? Listen, what the f you talking about? Listening, you you walked and you told your wife to go find a seat, and you took it upon yourself to turn the f around and get in my mother face. Now if I can put my hand on your own ass, get the f out of my face. Yeah, that's, what? That's, what? That's all you need. That's Bobby, your goddamn what? Bobby. Get the f out of my face. Get the f out of my face. Is, is, this man is assaulting her. What's wrong with you? You assaulted her. I'm recording. The it's wrong with you. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Don't, 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 don't. What? Don't, don't, don't. Now get his ass back. Okay. Now get him the no, back. No, no, I'm sick of these crackers. Oh I'm God. sick of the crackers. Okay. Now get him the no, back. No, hell no. Get him the back. Move. No, no. What are you get him the back. You gonna hit me? Move. Move. I'm sick of you crackers. I'm gonna fuck you up. Hmm. That certainly tells a very different story from the first 10 second video we saw, where many assumed that this was a racist white man who was launching an attack on a black woman for no reason and assaulting her. Now, there are many things to talk about in this instance. First of all, should they have let this argument go on for that long? No, both parties should have walked away and decided to defuse whatever situation was about to unfold. Unfortunately, that did not happen. Now, I don't know what brought about this incident, but nonetheless, I think we can view that if there is a racist racist person who is present within this conflict, it is the black woman who decided to put her hands on an elderly white man whilst calling him a cracker. Now her viewpoint is made very clear several times throughout this video. She says something to the effect of, you guys wonder why black people act like this and it's because you white people think you have everything. I wonder where she would have heard a narrative like that, that black people are disadvantaged and white people have everything and they continue to take it from us and exploit us and use us in whatever way they can. Does that narrative sound familiar to you? You'll find that when you tell this story, especially when you tell it to an entire population of people, the worst of them are going to use it in their favor. Again, weaponized blackness. And I don't really have to explain how horrible it is to utilize that weaponized blackness and then actually commit an act of violence against an elderly person. I think you can figure it out. I think we all know how bad a fall could be for an elderly man and that this could have actually been an attempted murder. I want to focus instead on the idea ideas that bring about a situation like this and call out people who are weaponizing their blackness in this way. And the fact that this woman decides to speak on behalf of the black community should be very concerning to people watching this video and especially black people. We do not want individuals like this to be representative of the black community, but we've made that mistake largely with our ideology and dogma. We've told people that they can speak on behalf of an entire culture, community, and group. We've told them that they 
they can be representatives on our behalves. And that is not true because sometimes you get representatives who have ideas that you would never back up and never support, like hitting elderly men, screaming in restaurants, causing scenes, taping those scenes and posting them on the internet in order to promote a racialized narrative that is by no means true. And what's super wild to me is that it seems like in both of these situations, these black women left them thinking that they were in the right. They think they're fighting racism, fighting prejudice. Instead, they're creating more of it. I'm seeing people all over the internet now saying, this is just what black people do. This is who they are. This is how the black community acts. This is black culture. And you know what? The more this goes on, the harder I'm finding it to fight the allegations. In the case of these two women, it seems like they lack character regardless of how they feel about race in America. But do you see how the racialized narrative has given them a crutch that they can fall back on when their lack of character shows. The fact that one of them invoked Black History Month as reinforcement for her behavior should tell you exactly that. Who's made Black History Month such a big deal? Half of this country, essentially. And they've coupled that with the idea that Black people are entitled to something, that they deserve respect no matter what, that they are never in the wrong and they should never take accountability. And now you have Black people like this who are screaming Black History Month in restaurants when they get into an altercation with white people. All this to say, if you convince somebody of being a victim, they will use that victim card anytime they can because it is something that they can consistently fall back on without receiving any backlash in return. And while these people were already bad to begin with, that victim card makes them worse. So it's imperative that we push back when they try to inject this storyline into everything, and especially when they try to inject it into instances where they've done something wrong. I know it's scary, you don't want to be called a racist for the rest of your life, but this is a necessary step in fighting this sort of ideology. I hate that videos like this circulate on the internet and people think that this is what all black people are like. It is most definitely not true. But the further we buy into this narrative, regardless of what race you are, the more it becomes true, unfortunately. And we are now teaching this to generation after generation after generation. So imagine what our world is going to look like if we continue on this trajectory. Not good, I can tell you that. But those are just my thoughts on the subject matter. Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, if you disagree with me, duke it out, but do so respectfully and keep an eye out because I do post videos for you guys every single day. And why not like this video? After all, it's Black History Month, so I'm entitled to it. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better.